Hello everyone, it's Chris here from the Southwest Shooters and in this video today I want to talk about Jeff Cooper and his four rules for air gun safety. Now this shouldn't just apply to air guns, this would apply to any kind of gun. And he didn't necessarily coin these rules when thinking about air guns, but they definitely apply to the sport that I'm interested in. So his four rules are always treat the gun as if it's loaded even if it isn't. Only aim at something that you're willing to kill or destroy. Only um, put your finger on the trigger when you are uh, ready to do so, so when you're aimed on something. And finally, be aware of the target and everything that's behind it. Okay? Now, I'll put a link to the Wikipedia page that explains these four rules in the description, but I just want to talk about them very, very briefly and how they apply to my shooting and potentially yours as well. So, always treating the gun as if it's loaded, even when it's not, I think is very, very important because that engenders a kind of reverence and respect for the gun at all times. You're never going to ever point the gun at someone even in jest, for any reason at all, you're never going to do that. Because if you assume that the gun is loaded, you'd never do that. Because you're never going to point a gun at a person because that's absolutely insane. Um, and this follows on to rule two. Okay, So when uh, Jeff Cooper talks about only aiming at something that you're willing to kill or destroy, again, this engenders an overall sense of responsibility and ownership in what it is you're doing as a shooter. So for example, I um, am only really interested in target shooting, okay? So obviously, I'm very willing to point the gun at a paper target or a bell or one of those twisty Twizzler targets or whatever because, you know, I'm willing to destroy that, okay? It's not a sentient thing, I can't kill it, but I'm more than happy to destroy that because it's of very little significance. Um, Point number three, uh, Jeff talks about only placing your finger on the trigger when you're, when you're ready to, when you're ready to take the shot. Now, I am um, only going to feign this. I don't have a rifle with me. But I always thought it was really interesting. There's a video game called Metal Gear Solid. And there is some promotional material where the, the lead character, he's holding his gun. And he always had his finger out straight. It was never on the trigger. And I always thought this was a really interesting sort of observation from the people that made the video game because they're actually following one of Cooper's rules. He's got his gun down, the safety would be on, but he's still not got his finger on the trigger because it's, it would be against one of Cooper's rules. So the only time that I would have my finger actually on the trigger, coiled around it, would be when I'm actually ready to take a shot. Now the final one of Cooper's rules is be aware of the target and everything that's surrounding it. Okay. Now again, this is sort of engendering and espousing a um, responsible approach to actually using a firearm, to actually using an air rifle. So when uh, we're shooting outside, we always establish a backstop, okay, which is something that the pellet can't go through. Or, or it, it will eventually go through if you shoot it multiple times because it will just pe penetrate and make a hole. But we always have a backstop against like a, um, a mound of earth. Okay, because we don't want a pellet flying anywhere where it shouldn't. That's very, very important because it could potentially harm someone else. And I don't want that. That's never going to... I want to try and reduce the chances of that happening. Okay, so not only are you aware of the target, the thing that you're trying to shoot, you're also aware of the surroundings. And that would mean if a pellet was to ricochet or go through a target or to um, do something that you can't really plan for, okay? You wanna try and minimize all of these problems, okay? So they're Cooper's four rules. I'll say them one more time. Always act as if the gun is loaded, even when it's not. Secondly, only point the gun at something you're willing to kill or destroy. Only put your finger on the trigger when you're ready to take a shot. And number four, be aware of the target and your surroundings.
there you go. I'll see you soon. Take care. And Ian is the good eye sniper. See you soon. Bye-bye.